How do you become a bit of expert or the, uh, in African music? Or no. Like, no, I, th I definitely think, like, we're still just, just fans, pretty much, and not even, like, you know, I, I don't think, like, any of us have, like, read books or, like, you know, it's just, it just, like, a style of music we like, and usually the way I buy it anyways is I'll be at a record store and I'll see something and listen to a song and it sounds good, I'll just go home and listen to it. It's not, like, you know, like a very directed, like, style of research, you know. And it's uh, it's also very difficult, I think. I mean, it's it's hard enough to, to even feel like you have a handle on what's going on in, like, current... American music, let alone, you know, a place so big and diverse as Africa. So I think, like like Chris said, it's it's more just about kind of just following your taste and your instinct. Yeah. Did you, did you uh, ever like uh, like the New York bands from a few years ago, like like the Strokes and Interpol and that kind of music? Or? I like the Strokes. I think because one, I mean, in in a certain sense, a lot of the music that influences us is pop music. So I always admire like you know people who write good catchy pop songs, and I think the Strokes are a great example of that. I think they, a lot of bands copied them in bad ways and and but made and made worse versions that. of it. But yeah, the Strokes it's it's almost incredible how how good a mind they have for writing pop songs. I'd say. Yeah, so that's what what you also like is just good pop songs. Yeah, I think I think that's the hardest thing to do, and I think it's, I think a, a, a lot of time, a lot of times, the best art comes out of giving yourself limitations, um, and a pop structure is a huge limitation because there's certain things, there's a certain you know time frame you're working within, there's certain goals of pop music, otherwise it wouldn't be pop. It's about you know getting people excited without having to spend a long time listening to it. And I think those are exciting things to try and work with. Because you can make pop music and still be very experimental um, at the same time, definitely. You say, uh, yeah, you say you like, yeah, if you give, uh, give yourself uh, limitations, did, do you have, is, is there, are there limitations in this band? Um, yeah, well, we almost, we almost, when we started, wanted to write a manifesto of rules. Um, <laughs> Like, like a Dogma 95 kind of thing, like things that we couldn't do. And I mean, part of it is just because it makes you think more, um, you know, it, we didn't really come up with too many rules. One rule was no trip hop, because we felt strongly like trip hop was something that had been overused. And still they play it at so many restaurants and bars and, you know, I don't know why. <laughs> Not that it's bad, but it's like, come on, there's got to be something new. And, and also limitations about things that we didn't want to do because we thought they were too boring. So, Can you give an example? Um, I would say playing power chords on a guitar. Um, I mean, some people maybe, especially for me, because when I first learned to play guitar, I just learned to play chords, and I'd look up songs and look up the chords and go, no, 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 no. So I think that pushes, pushes you to try and like, find new ways of playing guitar. Um, maybe some people already play like that, but for me, like, trying to avoid chords is helpful. And I think that also gives us more gives our sound more of a minimalism that we like. Definitely, you know, the drum parts are, there's kind of straight ahead rock beats that we avoid, the kind of like hi-hat disco beat, I think is very overused yeah. to the point of becoming like, almost like meaningless that, that, that so many bands were using it. So, uh, you know, that pushed us to, to try different things. Yeah, maybe drum solos. <laughs> uh, well, we've, yeah, drum, we've been listening right. to a lot of uh, a lot of Zeppelin recently, and most notably the song Moby Dick. And so, I yeah, and my friend could play that drum solo in high school, which is always very impressive. So maybe, maybe something like that for, <laughs> for LP too.